Question number 20. The figure below is a right pyramid, V, E, F, G, H, with a square base of 8 cm and a slant edge of 20 cm. Point A, B, C and D lie on a slant edge uh, of the pyramid such that VA is equals to VB is equals to VC is equals to VD is equals to 10 cm and the plane ABCD is parallel to the base AEFGH uh, so we have our pyramid here so the question for the first question part find the length of AB um, AB uh, is one of the sides of the middle uh, base and we can say if we take the whole of uh, the whole pyramid and the pyramid on the top they are similar and therefore we can say the ratio of AB AB you divide by uh, 8 that is uh, FG is equals to the ratio of the slanting side and that is 10 divided by 20 uh, because the two are similar and therefore our AB our AB is equals to 10 multiplied by 8 uh, divided by 20 uh, which should give you uh, 4 cm so AB is 4 cm from there uh, part, B, part B Roman number 1 uh, we are told so we have uh, part B Roman number 1 the length of AC the length of AC is the diagonal of the upper base and we have the size of the up, upper base we have found it is 4 cm so AC is a diagonal we will say it is a square root of 4 squared uh, plus 4 squared which is equals to the square root of 32 uh, because 4 squared is 16 plus 16 and this will give you uh, when you use your calculator you get it is 5.66 uh, centimeter so that is the length of AC uh, then Roman number we have Roman number we have Roman number 2 uh, we are to the perpendicular height of the pyramid the perpendicular height of the pyramid we can use uh, we can use half AC that is uh, that we are talking of pyramid A B C D so if we get the, the half of AC so we have uh, this is Roman number 2 uh, we can get a half AC is equals to okay you can put that in capital half of 5.66 is 2.2 uh, point they say it is 2.83 so if, if I have AC we can use now the the slanting side which is 10 uh, to be able to get the and the and the half of AC uh, so we say that uh, the height of uh, ABCD that is VABCD uh, we can use the height here and say this is uh, instead of A we put uh, this is H the height is equals to uh, we can say it's the square root of 10 squared um, we minus a half AC which is 2.83 squared and using your calculator you get your height is uh, 9.75 centimeter so that is how you work out you work out part B uh, so we look at now uh, part C the, pyra uh, the pyramid V A B C D was cut off find the volume of the first ram A B C D E F G H correct to two decimal places so how do you get the volume of a first ram you get the volume of the whole pyramid and you get the you subtract the volume of the pyramid that it was cut off so we say uh, volume this is part C uh, to get the volume of a pyramid we normally say it is a third uh, base area times height so base area times height so that is uh, we are going to uh, look at so for us to be able to get the volume 
first of all we need the height of the whole pyramid so because of the height, height of the small pyramid is 9.75 f's we have seen so we multiply uh, the, the height uh, we can use small h here uh, the height here it will be 2 multiplied by 9.75 and this will give you 19.5 19.50 uh, uh, this uh, centimeter uh, so that is the height so we can get the volume uh, volume is equals to volume of the uh, that because a third will be common we say it is 8 multiplied by 8 that is the base area multiply by height which is 19.50 we minus the other one will give us the area of 4 multiplied by 4 because that those are the sides it is a square multiplied by the height uh, which is uh, 9.75 uh, you cross so you compute 8 times 8 is 64 multiplied by that you can use that your calculator to do that that you simplify because you are out to use your calculator that you simplify your work and your final answer should be 260 uh, centimeter uh, uh, centimeter cube because we are talking of the volume and this is to two decimal places.